that many Indians, irrespective of political uh, ideology, might feel rankled by the essential asymmetry of power when it comes to a Western gaze on India, a kind of singular brushstroke uh, on 1.4 billion people, uh, repeatedly telling the India story in the same way. That might have irritated you as well. Um, that you agree with. So to that extent, you're not speaking as a congressman here opposed to the BJP. But as a liberal, you don't like blocking out the broadcast or the sharing of a film, even if you disagree, as you appear to do, with the kind of assumptions that the film seems to fall back on. Well, I mean, the, the assumptions are essentially irrelevant. I mean, the facts that they're reporting is there was an investigation conducted by British diplomats posted in India at that time. They sent a confidential report, which the BBC has now got hold of. And in that report, they claim that the truth is much worse than the government of India publicly acknowledged at that time or that the Supreme Court uh, acknowledges today. So essentially, they seem to be saying here is a version that our people at, on the spot at that time believed. Now, you can ask yourself, you know, why should this be coming 21 years after this happened? Why is it the BBC's business to reopen this, uh, et cetera? These are all some of the, the challenges that people have been casting. Uh, what I said was we could have ignored that. Uh, it, it, it's not something that the Indian government needed to have reacted to in this fashion. It certainly is unacceptable for the Indian government to go around banning, censoring, getting things removed off the internet, trying to prevent people from screening it, because that is censorship that really has no place in a democracy. How does the government justify its censorship? It gives two reasons. Number one, that it affected the sovereignty and integrity of India. I've explained why I don't agree with that and why our sovereignty is not so fragile. The second reason it said is they had to block the documentary because uh, if it was shown, it would threaten national security and public order. Now that is again rather worrying because what are we saying? That a documentary made by a BBC channel can actually threaten our national security and public order? I mean, that's that puts us in a very poor light as a, as a, as a stable democracy if we can't even manage to digest a documentary that says unpleasant things about us.